me take you back to a time when Love was as precious as diamonds Where if you search you would find it He woke up with an extreme headache the kind that makes it impossible to think straight your mouth was dry your body feels heavy and the bright sunlight filtering through the blinds wasn't helping you groaned and rolled over in the bed trying to shake off the fog what even happened last night you tried to piece together the previous night but it was all a blur flashes of the club the loud music drinks and that's about where your memory stopped You remember going out with friends for what was supposed to be a regular night but things got out of hand way out of hands actually You sat down massaging your temples oh you probably just drank too much you mumbled to yourself trying to reassure yourself that it was no big deal But I don't want to go to college stumbling out of bed you dragged yourself to the bathroom a shower might help clear your head make you feel a little less like a wreck you lazily turn on the tap and start washing your face but as you rinse your face and glance at yourself in the mirror something feels off your hand your ring finger the purity ring you have worn for years gone your heart dropped wait what where's my ring Panic rushed in as you checked the sink, the floor, your bed and even the clothes you tossed aside last night, but it was nowhere to be found. No, no, no. This can't be happening. You mutter running a hand through your hair. Where is it? You started retracing your steps in your mind. You know you had it on when you left for the club. You always wore it. It's not something you would take off, not something you could just lose, but now it's gone and you have no idea where or how it disappeared. You pulled your clothes and quickly got ready for college while your mind was filling with all the worst possibilities. Okay, maybe it fell off somewhere at the club. I'll just have to find it. You tell yourself even though deep down you knew it won't be easy. You rushed out the door, the sinking feeling in your chest only deepened. Losing the ring feels like losing a part of yourself. It was more than just a piece of jewelry. It was a promise. You came to campus and your heart was still beating fast. You were scanning everywhere thinking how will you ask your friends if they see that ring somewhere. It's okay. It's, it must have dropped. Don't panic, Vian. It's not like you lost your purity. It was only a ring. You can get another one. Seeing such words, you were just trying to reassure yourself. You decided to go to your class, but then your eyes fell on something, or rather than someone, your enemy John Jungkook, who was leaning against the wall, spinning the basketball on index finger. You didn't want to go into any argument with him right in the morning, so ignoring him, you were about to walk away when your feet stopped and your eyes fell on a pendant around his neck. Your purity ring was hanging from a thin silver chain around his neck. You felt goosebumps all over your body because last night this he was also in the club. Your stomach twisted into knots. You stormed over to him ignoring the knowing glances from the people around. Chunk, you shouted while your voice trembled with a mix of anger and confusion. He looked up his trademark smirk was already in place and eyes were gleaming with mischief. Who oh, Miss Mam is looking in bad mood today ha? Huh? He teased you purposely. Your eyes were locked on the ring hanging from his neck. Where did you get that? He said pointing to the ring that unmistakably belongs to you. He tilted his head slightly like he was pretending not to understand. This He said, lifting the ring from his chest, letting it dangle between his fingers. Found it after the club last night. Figured it was up for grabs. That's my ring. Give it back. He shouted, stepping closer. The smirk grew wider. Your ring, huh? You sure about that? Of course, I'm sure. Your voice cracked with frustration. It's 
my purity ring. It means a lot to me. Just give it back. But instead of handing it over, he chuckled. The sound was low and infuriating. Funny. He didn't seem so worried about it last night. Your stomach flipped and eyes widened when you heard that. What are you talking about? You glared at him but your hands were shaking. His smirk faded just slightly and his eyes narrowed as he stepped closer to you. Your heart was pounding as if it will come out in your throat any second. You really don't remember, do you? He said looking straight in your eyes. A cold rush of panic spread through you. Your mind scrambled to put together the pieces, but everything from last night was still fuzzy. You remember the drinks, the dancing, the heated argument with Jungkook, and then nothing. What happened last night? You asked while your voice barely came out as a whisper now. Dread sank into your bones. He leaned in closer and his voice dropped low as he spoke. Let's just say you weren't exactly playing the role of innocent little angel anymore. He tapped the ring with his fingers. I thought it was just a dream. You stammered trying to piece things together and your voice faltered for the first time. There's no way, there's no way you did what he was saying, right? Jungkook's grin turned wicked and he leaned in just enough to make you, your breath hitch. So you do all that with me in your dreams, huh? His voice was low teasing and full of hidden promises, sending a shiver down your spine. You girl, when you realize you have given him another chance to tease you by letting your inner thoughts out. Your face burned with both anger and embarrassment. Shut up Jungkook, just give it back. You try to grab at the ring, but he dodged you effortlessly like he had done this a thousand times before. You don't even remember, do you? You were quite different last night. His tone shifted just enough to send a flicker of unease through you. Different how? You snap but the dread was building in your chest. You hate how smug he is being right now, how he has the upper hand. You hate him or at least that's what you think. But deep down, you know the truth. You have never hated Jungkook. You have been attracted to him, fascinated by him, but your ego and his always got in the way. It's been the back and forth game for years, but now things have gone too far. His eyes flicked over you, watching your every move like a predator. Last night you weren't all cold and distant. In fact, you were pretty passionate. Your face turned red. I don't know what the hell you are talking about. Jungkook took a step closer, closing the distance between you while his voice was low and smooth. You really don't remember, or you're just pretending to be innocent. How we ended up in that room together, how you couldn't keep your hands off me. His smirk widened as your eyes widened. from him and from yourself. I was drunk. His brows furrowed as he looked at you in disbelief. So was I. But
funny because last night wasn't a dream and it wasn't the first time you have been dreaming about me was it You open your mouth to argue but the words die in your throat because the truth was he's right for months you have fought against the pull you feel towards him denying it to yourself convincing yourself that you hate him but deep down you have always known it wasn't hate it was something much more dangerous but you refused to give him the satisfaction of admitting it not yet without another word you spun on your heel and walk away leaving jungkook standing there still smirking still holding your ring you'll come around sweetheart last night you admit everything now you can't hide your feelings for a long time You came in the classroom and decided to focus on the lecture but the memories of last night kept flashing in your mind no matter how hard you try to focus on anything else The way his hands felt on your skin the way he kissed you like he has been waiting for this moment for years and the worst part you kissed him back with just as much hunger it was not a damn dream but a reality He only remembers some flashbacks from last night like how he stopped you from drinking because you were getting out of control and the other guys were trying to hit on you but then he came in the middle and you got angry on him and in the heat you didn't realize when you both were kissing and then ended up together. Ah oh, this is so embarrassing. He said loudly covering your face only to realize that you literally shouted and the whole class was looking at you. Jungkook pressed his lips together to control himself from smiling. Wayne is everything okay with you your face turned red in embarrassment and you bowed i'm sorry it happened by mistake a quick laugh spread across the classroom before everyone focused back on the lecture you glared at jungkook who was smiling looking at you and then you rolled your eyes he was wearing that ring as if he owned it now you never thought you'd lose your purity like this You spent the rest of the day in a daze. Your mind was literally spinning. Every time you see him across the courtyard or passing by in the hallway, you feel his eyes on you, that same cocky, knowing look on his face. But it was also thrilling. You hate how your heart skips a beat every time he's near. You hate how his words from earlier echo in your mind. Admit that you want me. By the end of the day, you were more confused than ever. You don't want to admit it. You don't want to give him the satisfaction but you can't deny the truth any longer. Something changed between you and Jungkook last night and there's no going back. How can I be so stupid to do all that? You cringed in embarrassment as soon as you came into your room. You grabbed your hair because this was really not something to ignore. You literally lose your weak heart to your enemy which you claim to hate but you have deep romantic feelings for. He sat on the edge of the bed and stared at the empty spot on your finger where your ring used to be. You know one thing for sure and that is Jungkook won't stop until he gets what he wants and maybe a part of you doesn't want him to stop now. Everything is clear. You came out of your thoughts with the sound of your phone's notification. A message popped up on the screen and your heart skipped a beat when you saw Jungkook's name. Your thumb hovered over the reply box and the words no way form automatically. There's no way you're meeting him especially not after what happened last night. You have been avoiding him all day but deep down you know something has shifted. You hit send no but as soon as the message goes through a part of you already know it's a lie. The same part of you that's been trying to fight these feelings for years. I'm not going. You repeated it in your head, trying to convince yourself, but as the evening wore on and the clock ticked closer to 9 p.m., you found yourself getting ready. Your nerves were a mess. Why am I doing this? You asked yourself over and over again, but you already know the answer. You have always known.
As you walk to the spot, Jungkook mentioned the secluded place near campus where no one ever goes at night. As you approach, your heart was beating faster, and there he was, leaning casually against a tree, looking like he had all the time in the world. He noticed you right away, smirking like he knew you would show up. Told you, you roll your eyes, trying to keep your cool. Don't flatter yourself. I just came to get my ring back. Across his arms, the chain around his neck was glinting under the moonlight. The purity ring still hanging from it, taunting you. You sure that's all you came for? He said, raising an eyebrow. His voice was full of challenge. Of course, you said, feeling your chest tightening with frustration. But the way he was looking at you with that cocky grin and those deep eyes makes it hard to hold your ground. Why don't you admit it already? You have been lying to yourself for too long. He said, stepping closer. I don't know what you're talking about. You lie trying to keep your voice steady, but you can't stop your heart. From Know it. Don't make me reveal how you confess everything. How you told me how much you want me. You swallowed hard and your pulse pounded in your ears. You hate how right he is. How easily he sees through the walls you have tried so hard to build. Look, last night was a mistake. We were drunk and things got out of hand. That's all. You said, trying to sound convincing. He laughed, shaking his head again. A mistake? Is that what you think it was? You try to maintain your composure, but his words hit too close to the truth. You have spent all day convincing yourself that last night meant nothing, that it was just a drunken lapse in judgment. But deep down, you know better. Just give me the ring back. He doesn't move. Instead, he hooked a finger under the chain around his neck, lifting the purity ring to eye level. Why should I? You gave it to me. I didn't give it to you. You took it. His smile faded a little, and his eyes softened as he lowered the ring. Maybe I did, but that doesn't change the fact that you don't really want it back. Not until you admit how you feel. Your heart skipped a beat. And what do you think I feel, Jungo? He took a deep breath, stepping even closer until there's barely any space between you. I think you have been hiding your feelings for a long time. You hate how much you want me, and you're scared to admit that. What happened last night wasn't just some drunken mistake. Your chest tightened as his words sank in. He was right. You were scared, scared of what it means to admit that you have wanted him for longer than you cared to admit. Scared of what will happen if you let down your guards. I don't want to feel this way. You whispered, barely able to get the words out. Jungkook's expression softened even more as he gently brushed a strand of hair behind your ear. But you do. You close your eyes, trying to fight the overwhelming emotions swirling inside you. But when you open them again, he was still there, still waiting, still so sure of himself. I don't want to be another one of your flings. You said while your voice trembled. He looked hurt for a moment, but quickly recovered. You think that's all this is to me, a fling? Isn't it? You have been chasing me for months, trying to prove you can get whatever you want. Well, congratulations, Jungkook. You got me. He stepped back, shaking his head. It's not like that. It's never been like that with you. Then what is it? You said while your heart was racing, tears threatening to form in your eyes. Jungkook hesitated, then took a deep breath. I don't know how to explain it. All I know is that I have never felt like this about anyone before, and I hate that I have I have been too much of a coward to admit it. Your heart skipped a beat at his words. For the first time, Jungkook's cocky fake it seems to crack, and you seem the vulnerability beneath it. I don't hate you. I never have. 
I've always liked you, but I didn't know how to deal with it. So I did what I always do. I made it a competition. He looked at him stunned into silence. This is the first time he was ever being so open up with you, so honest. And last night, last night wasn't just about physical attraction or some stupid rivalry. It was real and I think you felt it too. He said looking deep in your eyes. He swallowed hard tears now threatening to spill from your eyes. You can't deny it anymore. He's right. Last night was real and you have been trying to fight these feelings for too long. I hate to say that but you are right. He took a step closer before gently cupping your cheek in his hand, then stopped fighting it. Your heart pounded in your chest as he leaned in, his lips brushed softly against yours. For a moment, everything else faded away. The rivalry, the tension, the fear, all that's left is the undeniable truth that you have both been running from. When he pulled back, his eyes searched yours for a response. What am I supposed to say? That I love you? He chuckled. I wanna hear what you say to me in your dreams. Must be screaming my name, right? Just get lost. He pushed him and was about to leave but he grabbed your hand and pulled you closer before kissing you. After kissing you for a while, he pulled back and looked at you.